Hello. Today we are going to be talking uh, something. I'm just going to give a quick uh, fix. So uh, one of the problems that we have been seeing, uh, one of most of our customers are facing. That is, for example, sometimes they'll be using their computer and all of a sudden the tax bar will move to the side of the screen or to the top side of the screen. So uh, in that case, when they happen, you see most of the time customers will be struggling they don't know what to do because uh, it even sometimes very difficult for you to even move the mouse back. So in most cases, uh, what causes that is this? Let's say you are using the computer and probably your kids or somebody uh, move the tax bar from here from the bottom side where it should be by default to the other side of the screen. If you look here, for example, I'm going to do I'm going to do quick demonstration for you here. If I right click on my tax bar here, I'm going to see something here which is lock the tax bar. So in most cases, if the locked tax bar is unlocked, that is what causes it. So if the tax bar is unlocked, the tax bar can easily move to any side of the screen or any side of the monitor, either with your consent or not. So I'm going to lock it back. So if once I lock my tax bar back, therefore I cannot move it. It cannot move at all. Right? But right if I right click on my tax bar and then I unlock it so with that if I click and hold my mouse I can easily drag it here that is what causes it most of the time or well, sometimes uh, that is shortcut also on the keyboard we can easily also uh, move it to the side of the monitor so if I um, click and hold my tax bar right now and then I can easily move it like I did right now so right now my tax bar is moved to the one side of the screen so for me to do that, I have to move my mouse back there. If I want, I can click again, hold it, and drag it back here. I have it back. So in some cases too, you're going to see like the tax bar is moved to the left side of the monitor, or sometimes in fact the, the um, top side as well. So if uh, clicking on, if if like uh, click on the tax bar, move it back to where you want it to be. If, if that doesn't work we still have a shortcut for you to do that the most important thing that you have to do is this you have to make sure you have to make sure let me move it back to the way it should be you have to make sure first your tax bar is not locked because in some cases if you move the tax bar uh, to the left side of the monitor or the top side of the monitor for example and if it is locked then therefore what i would what i am doing right now you can't do it so first you have to make sure it's unlocked just right click on your tax bar and then make sure tax lock the tax bar is there is no check mark there like we have here make sure there is no check mark there so if there is a check mark there just click on it and then remove the check mark on it so once you remove the check mark on it from it and then yes still you cannot uh, move it to where you want it to be right so in this case i'm not going to use the mouse i'm going to leave the mouse where it is right now and i'm going to use my keyboard so if you look on your keyboard right now, you're going to see control, that's CTRL, which is shortcut for control, I mean for Windows-based computers. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm doing this demonstration for. If you look on your keyboard, you're going to see CTRL, which is short for abbreviation for control. And if I press and hold that, and you're going to see another key there, which is ALT, which is A-L-T. Okay, so I'm going to hold and I'm going to press control key and then press the alt key all together right so i'm holding those two keys together right now so if you look on the keyboard again you're going to see there are four um uh mouse uh, arrow pointing there one pointing up the other one pointing down the other one pointing left and right so what i'm going to do because the fact that my tax bar is right now on my right hand side of my screen I'm going to press the left uh, arrow of on my keyboard. Okay. So now it's moved. So I can press the down arrow. It moved again. Okay. So you just um, press it until you have it where you want it to be. Exactly, this is what happens most of the time. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take it back to where it is and then So it's here, what I'll do is bring it back down. So it's a bit tricky when you want to, that is if you want to use the keyboard, or if not, that is the quickest and easy way, then you have your text bar back to where it is. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video and thank you and have a good day. Bye bye.